Therefore, given that P, A, Q, R are representing the position vector of point P, Q and R, write the vector P, Q, R in form of X, I and Y, J. So, you know that this one, X, I plus Y, J, if you change it into this one, this one would be X, Y. You just take X and the Y, so this one is how you transform it. Okay, so P, Q, R, so for A, P is 3, negative 4. So X is 3, so this one is 3, Y is negative 4, negative 4, J. Okay, so Q, negative 5, negative 7, so basically you get negative 5, I, minus 7, J. See, this one is X and this one is Y. P, Q, R. So R, you have 1, 5. So basically, your x is positive 1. So this one is 1i. This one is plus 5j. Or you can directly write i plus 5j. Okay, so this one. B. State the coordinate of position P, Q, R. So coordinate, we know that this one, the position vector is from O. Right? So this one is 3, negative 4. So this one is. So the coordinate is x, y. So this one is 3, negative 4. So this one is negative 5, negative 7. And this one is 1, 5. Nth of P, Q, R. So basically, when you have this one direction, so you are calculating the value of X and Y. So the length, so here the distance is obviously the formula of hypotenuse. This one is hypo. So, what happened is, this one, the length or the magnitude is equal to third x square plus y square. So, same with this one. So, so the length of P, Q and R. So, the length is actually the magnitude. The magnitude of P is equal to, so x is 3 square. So, y is negative 4 square. So, it's equal to 5 units. So, this one is Q. So, Q is third. So, this one is negative 5 square plus negative 7 square. So, here we get 8.602 units. So, here R is equal to third. So, R is 1 and 5. So, 1 square plus 5 square. So, here we so here we get 5.099 units.